One of our employees, Tim, was driving back to the rescue when he spotted a dog tied to a pole. It sounds close, oh, yeah. yeah. It is very common for dogs to be tied up either right to the warehouse on our fencing or right around the corner. People tie them up close because they know that we're gonna, yep. we're gonna see it. It's like, just come to the gate and ask us to take it. Part of the reason people tie their dogs up is because I think that some people are ashamed and don't want to deal with the questions of why are you giving up your dog. And then I think that some people are just downright terrible and don't care. Oh, God. Its lip is sticking out. Hi. Hello. Oh, it's a girl. Oh, twin. Hi, honey. I could tell that the dog was definitely nervous. Yourself. Hi. It's okay. Hi, mommy. Oh. Okay, we're not even gonna, we're not gonna waste time because you look terrified. Yep. It's look okay. at her little hair honey. lip. It's okay. Hi. Let me, un let me unclip. Hi. It's okay. Oh, those are all, it's dog bites, it looks like. Look at it. There was a piece of her lip missing. We were, you know, thinking that she could have been attacked by a dog. What a cute dog. Oh my god. Hi. It's always hard to know for sure what a dog was going through before coming to us. All we can do is just make guesses based off of their condition, based off of where we find them. It's OK. Do you want me to carry her? Oh no, she's good. You going to walk, baby? She's got scars all on her head. Let, look at her lip. To me, it looks as though this dog in particular was never cared for properly. It's okay, baby, come on. She's so scared, oh my god. It's okay, baby, come here. Hey, hey, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. Seems like she's probably had a really, really hard life before us. She is terrified Hi. to go anywhere near the rescue. Hi. Hey, it's okay, it's okay, mama. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Hi, look at your face. And chip. Really? Yep. It's really odd that this dog has a microchip because she's not in the greatest shape. And normally when dogs are microchipped, we take that as a sign that somebody cared about them at some point. It's OK, honey. There you go, you have a hole. It's possible that she was chipped by someone who cared about her and then she ended up in the wrong hands. So we wanted to call the microchip company to see if we could get any additional information on this dog. Hey, keep her going. How may I help you? Hi, um, I work at Villalobos Rescue Center in New Orleans, Louisiana. And uh, we have a dog here that we found um, that has a microchip number. And the microchip number, please? It is 982. I'm feeling pretty conflicted because she is in rough shape and she's terrified and she has a big chunk of her lip missing. I have the showing of a female American pit bull terrier play with white colored dogs. Is that mm -hmm. much? Yes. Perfect. And is he doing okay? She no, I mean she was she's like not in the in the greatest of shape. Okay. Does it say if she I mean she doesn't look it. Does she say if she's spayed or not? Not spayed? As far as we know, she is in speed. Okay. She's about two years, five months. Two years, five months. OK. Unfortunately, the only information that the microchip company was able to provide was a phone number. The number you have reached. Whenever we scan a dog and they have a microchip, it just gives us a little bit of hope that maybe there's somebody out there that cares about this dog. So in some ways, it was disappointing that the phone number was a dead end and there was no other information. That's so sad. I mean, thank God that we have her. But in some ways, I am really glad that we have her because I know that we can give her a bright future. And I know that in the meantime, we can give her all of the love and care that she needs. Hopefully, she starts to come around. I have a good feeling. I think so, too. Yeah, she seems so sweet. Come here. Good girl. Oh my god, you're so cute. Recently, we rescued a very sweet pit bull that was tied up behind the warehouse. What a cute dog. Oh my god. Hi. We decided to name her Jessica. I don't know, it just seemed like it fit her. And chipped. 
really? Yep. We called the microchip company and unfortunately we did hit a dead end. The phone number was disconnected. God, you're so scared. Somebody treat you pretty bad, huh? We always check the lost and found Facebook pages to make sure that, you know, a dog that we have in our care hasn't been posted there. But we haven't found anything on Jessica. If we don't find anything there and the microchip is a dead end, then beyond that, there's nothing more that we can do. This is toy. 100% she is better off with us. But we don't want to focus on everything that she's gone through. We want to focus on everything that we're going to give to her. Oh. Jessica did amazing letting us vaccinate and take her blood. She's definitely still nervous, but she wants affection. It's possible she was used for fighting. Either that or she has been attacked at some point just because of the scarring in the front and yeah. then her lip. Yeah. Even if, like, obviously she was used for breeding. I don't think she's ever been in, like, an indoor area before. She has no idea what to do in here. She just was, like, sitting, staring. Oh, my God. How can you see this, like, sweet, innocent dog and not be sweet to her and not be nice to her? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. You have to have no soul. I hope she's heart room negative. Yeah, I mean, she could get placed so quickly. Oh, God, people how cute love she is. her. The next step for Jessica is just to continue showing her affection and just making her comfortable. We'll test Jessica's blood for heartworm and we are hoping that it will be negative so we can get her ready for adoption sooner rather than later. I don't want to put her back yet. Let's hang out with her for a little bit. Okay. She wants to snuggle. I'm going to finish my coffee in here with her.